Hi, this is Tim Weaver from CMEG and I'm here with Alex Dale. How are you doing, Alex? Hey, not too bad, thanks. Good, me. good. So, uh, we're going to be talking about Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation on PS Vita today. A game, Alex, I believe you've played a bit of. Yeah, that's why I played a bit of it at um, Ubisoft stand at Gamescom. Uh, basically, it's the uh, Vita complement to the main Assassin's Creed 3. It's set in the same time frame, but while the uh, console game is set in the northern states, such as Boston and New York, this takes us to the south, south of um, the US. So um, the part I played first had us going through a canoe um, ride through a swamp mm. somewhere down in the mid-south, and that actually used the touchpad on the back of the screen to row a canoe. I was all over the place, but to yeah. be honest, I was like operating on four hours sleep and there was about three Ubisoft employees staring over my shoulder. But yeah, it's always intimidating yeah. when you have to sit there playing the games and then you feel like eyes on you, testing you, seeing how much you get of that game. But, so it's set in the deep, deep it's set in the deep side, set um, in, in a, some of it's set in and around New Orleans in the bayous around there. So you do a bit of canoeing, as you say. What 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 else do you get? So I mean, from the footage, it looks like I mean, it uses the same engine as Assassin's Three, so it looks it's got a real Assassin's Three kind of vibe going on. Yes, yeah. Um, one of the main differences seems to be that you find animals in it. I uh, tussled with an alligator almost at the moment I stepped outside of the uh, canoe, mm. which is different. And then one of the main similarities is it you do a lot of um, clambering around and the branches overhead and striking down on your opponents from uh, the top. It's got the same sort of real aggressive, fluid, stealth combat action. So, in the full fat Assassin's 3, there's, um, there, you can also obviously kill animals and that sort of stuff, but you have to be at a certain level, I think, before you can, although this hasn't been confirmed, but we're assuming you have to be at a certain level to, in, in order to attack like the bigger beasts. I mean, you saw an alligator, you wrestled with an alligator straight off the bat, presumably that's not the same. Um, the combat looks quite similar. What, what other differences are there between the two kind of versions of Assassin's Creed 3? There aren't a lot. It's very, it's very faithful to it. It's just the setting. It seems to be a lot more urban. After that, I went into New Orleans, which is, reminded me a lot of the um, Assassin's Creed 2 levels, actually. Plenty of um, high-rise high buildings to climb up to and here either. Mm. Um, it really is, um, in terms of the way it feels, a proper Assassin's Creed uh, experience in the palm of your hand. And you referenced earlier the, the the controls, the way you control it on the on the pad. Maybe you can talk a little bit more in depth about that. You said that you were using the back of the the beta to kind of row your canoe. Yeah, that's fine. That's the only time it was used. Right. Because you were stroking down on the uh, the rear touch pads to mimic the canoe's actions. I mean, it was a fairly uh, gratuitous use of the touch screen there, but I'm sure that in later sections it will come back and you'll have to do it under a lot of pressure. Okay, so you didn't see a lot of evidence of it being necessarily tailored to Vita in, in that way? No, I mean, um, obviously the, the screen format's a lot narrower on the Vita, the widescreen format, so they've had to tailor the levels to make them less vertical so you can actually see what's going on. Yeah. But other than that, um, it's very similar to Assassin's Creed 3. So for the first time in the Assassin's series you play as a woman, she's called Abilene de Grand Prix. Is that correct pronunciation, Dela? Mm, no. No, probably not. But anyway, how does she feel? Does she feel different to Connor or is she fairly similar? No, very similar. Maybe uh, she doesn't attack the same class, but Connor's been introduced to make it a much faster game than Assassin's Creed 2 was. This feels a lot more like the Ezio arc. Right, okay. One main difference is that you can use the uh, front touch screen to quickly switch between uh, your weapons. Yeah. Okay. And strike the other nuts, very similar to her male counterparts. So summing up, what's our impressions of of the game? Is it is it is it one of those Vita games which feels like a bit of a downsized, not particularly full fat version of the main series, or does it actually feel like a real meaty kind of game? It felt really solid, and I'm really excited to play for it. This is a sort of experiences I think the Vita should be having. I mean. I mean, um, Ubisoft haven't got their A team on it. It's a uh, Ubisoft Sphere, which I think are best known for the uh, Ghost Recon 3DS games. Mm. Um, but they've done a really good job on it. It looks really nice, and it's going to be interesting to play something that isn't just a port, you know, something that's been built specifically for a device. Looking forward to that.